everyone. Welcome back to another episode of From Paycheck to Prosperity. I'm your host, Adela Pafsos. Today, we're diving into a concept that's both intriguing and very much well debated. Can free truly be a profitable pricing strategy? So let's roll up our sleeves and explore the captivating realm of free offerings in the business world. You know, free has an undeniable allure. It's like a magnet that draws consumers in triggering their curiosity and their desire to take advantage of a good deal. When something is labeled as free, it often generates a lot of excitement and even a sense of added value. Offering something for free can be a powerful tool for building customer relationships. It's kind of like extending an olive branch and creating an opportunity to showcase all of your products and your services without an immediate financial commitment. This can lead to brand familiarity, increased in trust, and potentially more long-term customer loyalty. Free offerings can serve as gateways to upselling and cross-selling. It's kind of like inviting someone in with a complimentary sample and then giving, getting the chance to introduce them to your offerings that they might find valuable in the future. This strategy can lead to This strategy can lead to additional sales and increased revenue streams. And interestingly enough, free offerings can enhance the perceived value and positively impact brand image. Consumers are often associating free with a high value, which leads to a positive perception of your brand. So however, there's a flip side to the free strategy. While free may attract a lot of customers, it's not entirely without a cost. It's kind of like giving away samples at a cost to your bottom line. Companies need need to be very careful and assess the balance between acquiring customers through these free offerings and then the associated cost. The challenge really lies in turning free offerings into sustainable profits. It's like navigating a maze to find the treasure. Companies need to clearly monetize and have a monetization strategy whether that's through premium upgrades, subscription models, or complimentary paid products. This is going to ensure profitability. Managing consumer expectations also becomes very crucial when you're using free as a pricing strategy. It's kind of like setting the stage for what comes next. Transparency and clear communication about the value prop beyond just, hey, we have a free offering, is essential to avoid disappointment, and to build trust. So in conclusion, my friends, the question of whether free can be a profitable pricing strategy is a complex puzzle, but it's really about leveraging the allure of free while balancing cost and creating a path to sustainable profitability. And that's it for today's episode of From Paycheck to Prosperity. Thanks for joining me in on this exploration of the free pricing strategy. If you're interested in my list of top recommended business resources, head on over to adelapasos.com and I'll catch you in the next one where we'll continue to unravel the intricacies of business and prosperity. Take care.